The transformation of the historical Duncan Reserve incorporates the significance of Nelson Mandela, an 1820 settler, Sir Rufian Duncan, who named Port Elizabeth after his wife Elizabeth. Two powerful men, poles apart in culture and tradition, but a new vision merges the elements of both. The company was formed about 2005 with the specific purpose of um, urban renewal. That's trying to turn the fortunes of a very derelict city around. And as you find with urban renewal, you cannot only look at uh, bricks and mortar at construction. You need to find those abstract elements as well, which is basically Port Elizabeth's assets in terms of culture, heritage, and the struggle for freedom. One of the projects we embarked on is the building or construction of Route 67, which is basically um, commemorating the role of Nelson Mandela in public life, these 67 years in public life, but also looking at the whole struggle for freedom. These 67 steps symbolize a very important journey, with young and old seeking to walk in Madiba's footsteps. To have tourists walk through the metro's historical sites is not a new concept, but their experiences promise to be. Actually, it boosts the economy. It also bo uh, boosts, uh, in, in, you know, the, uh, the numbers because people come to cities not for their beautiful hotels, but for the for the experiences. So, if you don't have experiences, you cannot attract tourists. And also, I mean, imagine you being a tourist, you come to the city, and then you ask people, where can I interact with Madiba himself? And if you don't have accommodation like this one, you know, where else can people go? History on display attracts tourists and local residents alike. Some come here daily to enjoy the walk while others are looking to find out more about their history. I like to believe that the history here teaches us, of, it, it looms us to become who we are in terms of what, of what our ancestors were and how they grew up in the past and what they had to go through to get to where they are here now. It will always remind us what took place in, 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 in the past and the people like Mr. Matiba who fought and, and for, for this freedom, for us to gain this freedom. And now we are living, we are living happily because of the, of, the, of, of the decision they took then. Nelson Mandela Bay Metro is the only municipality to be named after the former president. Ivo Eporti, SABC News, Port Elizabeth.